Hey everyone, Nuni here, welcome to today's video where we're going to start a new series, a new gameplay series on the channel and we'll be playing Stellaris which is uh, a game space odyssey to... I think that's the way I would describe it. Um, Alright, so I've played a little bit about the game, uh, I, it's very interesting, I'm still a brand new player, kind of like a newbie, I'm not very advanced on it, so... Um, there's gonna be a few things in here, a few easy uh, uh, dif difficulty levels in here for me because, uh, like I said, I'm not a very good player when it comes to these kind of games. But I want to try it. I want to. I want to see how far I can go. Probably I'm gonna lose. Probably I'm gonna be completely uh, overwhelmed with the AI of the game, or maybe not. I don't know. But either way, I recently bought the game. Uh, I bought the. Um, Starter Edition, which is the base game plus two expansions, the Apocalypse and Utopia, which are by far the best ones. And um, recently on the summer sales, which when I'm recording this, they're still active, I decided to buy uh, a few other uh, expansions packs, if you want to call it that way. I don't know if, it, if it's expansions or content packs. Basically, I got the Ancient Relics, which is the, the latest one. Uh, I also got the Distant Stars uh, story pack. Um, I got the Leviathans, I think that's how you say it, right? Leviathans story pack and uh, Synthetic Dawn uh, story pack also so it gives a bit more uh, functionality to the game and a, a bit more story for it so I decided well I think it, it, it I'm sorry I think it would be um, definitely something worth the try uh, regarding mods there's a huge mod community a lot of mods over there I tried a few of them uh, and I just decided to use two uh, for the content to be honest and the first one is the Giga Structural Engineering which will allow me to have a few more mega structures to build in the future. Eventually, if I even reach that point, I don't think I may not survive it if I go with uh, a normal or higher difficulty level. And I also decided to uh, add the uh, ultimate technologies, which will have a few more technologies to research. And it will be, I think it will be extremely interesting to do that. But I'm not entirely sure um, if how it's gonna be. I, I know I'm not restricting restricting it. Uh, there's another mod that will restrict the technology to you. So I think it's, it gives you two uh, different sets of technology that the AI cannot get. But everything else they can, but I decided not to do that. So the AI have, has full access to these two mods or to this content, if you wanna say it that way. Either way, uh, I also created a new uh, empire or um, I don't know if it's called an empire or a faction, I don't know how you call it, but I decided to call them the LAC Criminal Belt, uh, and it's kind of like an interesting story, of course, the LAC, because, you know, this is, you know, black games or LAC games. So, yeah, I decided to do a bit of a story, and uh, let me just read it, uh, and uh, we will see how it fits, and just the, the, the story itself, and because I wanted to do a little bit of role playing here. It may be harder for me to to to, to play with this kind of um, you know race or empire, but yeah, I think it's gonna be fun in the end. Either way, uh, let's go give you guys a little bit of background about it. So, in the early ages of space exploration, the United Nations of Earth decided to send a ship with criminal prisoners to the outer space and through a wormhole. Now we have to be, uh, we have to have in mind that Earth was overpopulated, and that was the best solution that they could find at the time. Um, during the passage, or during the moment that the ship uh, crossed the uh, wormhole, the ship was critical hit, or suffered a critical hit, and crashed into a planet that, uh, further on, they named it as Freeland and uh, it's a contin continental planet and it was named by Nunulak, me of course, who became the criminal's leader. So yeah, now I'm a, I'm a badass criminal. <laughs> Anyways, um, the few criminals that survived together with the ship engineers and scientists, they made Freeland a, a flourished planet and now they want, to uh, they want their cut on the space exploration and the wonders that are out there. 
So basically what happens and in, in a very easy way is that Earth was overpopulated and they decided to send the bandits, the criminals that were on prison to the outer space, somewhere else, a different system, they wouldn't care much where it would land and just build a prison over there, the, the, the planet would be like a prison uh, planet and um, all the uh, number one enemies of Earth would be there, and among them was Nunlak that survived the the crash, and um, the few survivors they joined. Nunlak became the leader of that uh, empire, if you want to call it that way, and uh, yeah, that's how everything was born. And now that they are flourishing, they got their you know technology and all that stuff. They now want to move forward and start exploring, exploring space and becoming more, you know, like a badass uh, situation. Anyways, the kind of planets that we are going to work on, of course, are con continental worlds. Uh, there are humans. The main um, characters, you know, the main features are uh, the same of human. But uh, I just added a few more things, a few more tweaks. So, like all the humans, there have uh, the uh, perk. I think that's how you call it, the perk uh, adaptive um, ability. So it gives you a bit, uh, a bit more uh, um, habitable, habitability um, value. They are also nomadic, so they do get uh, a resettlement cost of uh, minus 25%, plus a pop growth from immigration of 15%. Yeah, that's all the humans have that, uh, that feature. If you go here, you're also going to see the same thing. The only thing I decided to not have on them is the wasteful uh, perk or trait. I don't know how you call this. Uh, instead, I decided to do a bit different, so they're repugnant. Uh, you know, they're bandits, they're criminals, of course, they are going to be repugnant. Um, they also are um, trifly, like, trifly, or trif trifly, I don't know how you say it or pronounce it. But either way, you know, they're, they're, they want to make money as bad as possible. They are, you know, they could steal or anything like that. So that means that trade value from jobs will be uh, bigger. And they're deviants because, you know, they're bandits, they're not good people. Uh, so, as you guys can see, it's the the, the way I decided the, the the kind of kingdom we're gonna have. It's it's a banded kingdom, makes all sense. So that means they are a, a, a xenophobe. So they do not like other uh, races or and other creatures. So they can purge or enslave them, which may be a good or a bad thing for the gameplay. I have no idea. Uh, of course, they are militarist or militaristic people. I don't know. Uh, you know, they they war. They like war. You know, so they're bad guys. They're always ready. They will sacrifice themselves for war. And of course, they're materialistic because you know they're bandits. They're they're over. They're doing it because they want money. They want trade resources. They want gold, kind of. You know. So yeah. That is the background story of the LEC Criminal Belt Empire that we are going to be playing. Of course, they are also dictatorial, so they only have an election whenever the ruler dies. Uh, I was not sure if it would be like that or like an emperor. I wasn't sure, but I decided this way. I think it's, it's the best way. So, yeah, let's start the new game. Okay, so we are going to go with the large... Could we go with huge? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with the huge galaxy size. Uh, the galaxy shape, we can go with spiral, uh, four arms, I think that's good. We can go with 15 empires, that's also good. Um, should we have advanced AI empires? I think not. I think all of them will be starting at the same level or at the same pace. We can have four fallen empires. Um, it's a huge map, so that, that I think that makes sense. Um, the Marauder, I'm not sure if I want to have that many of those. Uh, we could have just one. I think that's good enough. Uh, attack and tradition costs, let's make it the minimum possible. Um, we can have two uh, habitable worlds surrounding the initial area, I think. Uh, primitive civilizations we have five uh, that's okay I guess we could make it last we could have like two 
maybe. And uh, we have we will have to fight on the map for it, or maybe you have five. I don't know. It does it does it matter? I don't know. I don't know. I never really played that far away, so I'm not really so sure. Uh, crisis strength. We can go with the. Could we go with the minimum? Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm not really good at this game, so we should do that. Uh, the mid game start year of the crisis and the end uh, game crisis it should be further as possible i don't care about victory so there's not a, a limit for victory i think that victory in here means that i have to dominate the entire uh, galaxy now difficulty we could go with the easiest one which is cadet uh, i'm I don't want to do that. I want a bit of challenge. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense for me to make these these uh, gameplay series. So I'm gonna go with ensign or oh, ens ensign ensign ensign. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, guys. I think it's ensign, but uh, maybe it's not. Either way, um, I'm gonna go with this one, and I'm pretty much sure I'm gonna lose a lot, or I may even have a game over. Like I'm saying, I'm saying I'm not really good at it. Uh, scaling difficulty is off. AI aggress aggress aggressiveness. Uh, I'm gonna place it on low, just because, like I'm saying, I'm not very good at it. So if it's very aggressive, if I was already a more advanced player, I would try to go further in harder, um, harder, uh, harder uh, situations. But this way, I think it's best. Uh, empire placements can be random. Advanced neighbors off, of course. Uh, Hyperlane density one, gateways one, wormhole one. I think that's okay. Um, okay, I, I, I think that's it. So let's play the game. Let's see what happens. I think we still have. Uh, I'll be able to do the first few minutes and see what happens uh, in here. It's gonna be a very interesting game, I think. Alright, so, uh, I could read this beginning, but it's it's always the same, and it doesn't matter much having in mind the um, the story behind it. Oh yeah, I forgot to say the civics for, for the, uh, so, so the civics for the LAC criminal empire. So, they're barbaric, uh, the spoilers, so yeah, that's uh, one uh, thing I think it would work with the criminal mindset of the of, of this empire and they have a philosopher king so basically what the king says is is what the leader says is what uh, matters all right so uh giga structures configuration menu i want the default so all mega structures are active and that's the only thing i had to do regarding that mod all right so we are let me just look at the space oh we are on the that's not entirely bad because we are like on the edge. I think that's not a bad location. Although we could explore down below or you know to this section and then go over here and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I honest, honest, honestly I don't know. There's probably a connection between here somewhere on here there's like a hyperlane link but uh, yeah it's not bad we like on the edge of things and um, we should definitely I there, I know there's a lot of people that already uh, have seen the strategies and all that stuff but um, that's not how I work with uh, either way let's start with looking at where we're going to do research and uh, where we're we gonna go so we could go, um, yes, sure, we can explore from here, we can go this way. So let's explore the system instead of surveying the system yet. Uh, I don't know, we can survey the system. So I think it's better. Let's survey this one and next, this one, this one, and we can go this way, okay. And then if things go well, we can go down here. There's a black hole, so that's good, I think. And uh, we may even have to build another uh, 
another ship, you know, another uh, exploration ship or science ship. Okay, that's that's done. The fleet, I will not take any actions over here. Uh, the construction, I could. Let me see. We have three of research, two of minerals, and two of um, energy. And to be honest, I'm not even sure what is best to be built first. I think I th that's just me. I think that we should build first this mine. Okay, the mining station. Or maybe, yeah. This way I can have more, uh, can produce more uh, minerals so that we can start developing everything else. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it for the ships or civilian ships. Military fleets, I'm not going to do anything regarding it. Uh, shipyards, I'm not doing anything yet. I, we don't have enough alloys or anything like that. Empire, capital, we, what could we build here? Nothing. We have nothing that we could build. So there's no point in here. It's a small planet, 18. Well, it's not that small. It's not bad either. Uh, let's go with research. Alright, so here is when things start to make a bit of sense or maybe not so much. Uh, the way I do it, normally I go for the cheapest ones in regarding time. So this one takes 35 months, this one 42, this one another 42. Um, fusion reactors, it's, looking at it, to be honest, I think I would prefer to research the global energy management so it gets me uh, the energy grid and uh, it also gives me the cap capacity overload um, overload ad um, addict that allows me to have the double um, I think it's a double yeah uh, the 20 percent more of energy credits yeah and because it makes more sense to start with this one I'm, I think I'm gonna go with this one uh, I also could go with deflectors you know improve deflectors but um, I'm not at war and I I'm the kind of like small pace guy, so I'm not gonna go yet for this one, so I'll go with this one. Uh, society, yes. Uh, definitely the monthly unity, I think that's better. Not only is it cheaper, uh, 28 months, but I think it's also something that will definitely help me out on the long run. And engineering, uh, I guess we're gonna go with engineering research. From researchers will give me 20% more. It's definitely something I would go all right and that's basically it for now that's what I'm gonna do so let's uh, open it now let's start unpause the game uh, we only have an administrative capacity we have like 30 so we have to be really careful regarding it you know we only have 30 30 administrative capacity although we go always gonna go over it I don't think we're gonna stay uh, on on it we have three star bases and 20 uh, naval capacity so the fleet size is only 20 mm, okay I think that's okay I think it's okay uh, uh, we definitely want to improve our our uh, research I think we want to improve our research uh, values or technology or whatever because the higher technology we have then we're gonna be able to develop or get more uh, content or even better content than the, the previous ones. Let's speed up a little bit. Let's go to the fastest uh, speed and see what happens. Now this is a, a waiting game kind of. You have to wait a little bit for a lot of things to happen. Complete. Let's pause it. So okay so the the noob, LAC the noob, has already completed the construction of the mining station. That's okay. That's okay. We we do not have, do we have enough resources to build a mining station? No. Or, or, or even the research? No. We don't have it. We, we, mm, you see, we can go. Now let's unpause it. And uh, whenever we reach 100 minerals, okay, we can, I, I just pause it for now. We are going to build yeah, let's build a mining station. I think that's that's okay. Um, how is all right? Um, 
I didn't see how my, uh, okay. Yeah. Or yeah, okay. I think, I, I, what I was saying is that I didn't see how my, uh, you know, scientists were regarding or related to the departments that where they, where they are. So, Lucia di Bartonel, Bartolome, okay, Lucia di Bartolome, she has definitely uh, expertise in research speed of particles, which may be good for some uh, energetic weapons, if I'm not mistaken, very good for that. Um, Yassin Hal Mubarak, he will be good on the military t uh, theory, which probably will help me out with the um, star base capacity and naval capacity. And I also think the admi administrative capacity also, I think that those are the main ones. And then we have Andrea Becker that, uh, she, well, in fact, she's uh, an expertise on industry, which makes uh, everything a lot easier, as you guys can see. It has the same amount of the, the total time should be 25. It, it, it will cost 500 society research, but she'll be able to do it faster because she does have the, uh, um, you know, the scientist skill or expertise, which is 15% plus. Okay, let's unpause this and let's uh, wait and see what happens on this. Uh, so, oh, we got a tradition. Alright, so traditions. That's something I'm not very good at. So, like, I mean, I think all traditions are good, I guess, or they should. And uh, I'm not really sure which one. We also have the relics in here, so that's cool. Uh, I'm not really sure which one I should start with. No, you know, I think I'm going to start with expansion because it will give me, uh, if I adopt this, it's going get, to get give me a de colony development speed. So I'm going to be building more planets. I think and um, yeah I'll, I'll also have the possibility to you know every time I start a new colony it already has one more pop which is good and uh, I can increase the pop growth speed and uh, eventually even get the administrative capacity of plus 20 which should be good early on and the star base upkeep so i'm definitely gonna go with expansion for now i'm not sure if that's the best one um i know some people start with discovery because it will allow you to have a anomaly research uh boost plus all these other stuff you know survey speed and um database database uh you know the output and all that stuff but i'm, I'm gonna keep this way i think that's good and um Definitely, because I, yeah, um, definitely we're gonna have to find planets in here. I know I'm pretty much sure there's gonna be planets some somewhere around here, so that's good. All right, so the first um, notification we get, and we are almost uh, in the end of this gameplay, the first episode. I, I don't want this to be too big, more than 30 minutes for sure. I don't want that. But either way, it's a comet site. Um, a small celestial object was with pronounced gaseous and particulate tails was recently observed in the Omega C system. Its passing was unventful. Unventful. Okay, so it's a good omen. What does it mean? Okay, I got 40 unity, which is good. It means uh, I only have to wait three months for the next tradition to be unlocked which should be extremely fast. Anomaly found. All right, so anomaly on Ogikapu system. Guys, I'm, I'm pretty much sure I'm not going to be pronouncing those names correctly. Pretty much sure. Anyways, atmospheric readings from Ogikapu do not match simulated projections. Unfortunately, the research time is quite challenging so leave it for now your level is kind of weak for it so leave it for now yeah it requires level three she's only level one so forget the anomaly it's not gonna happen uh, 
Okay, we're gonna wait. All right, we already have a new tradition. Plus, I'm gonna play click here on the uh, ship that is probably yeah, it's constructing another mining station for for energy, energy credits. But I also want it to build. Can 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 it? Oh, uh, here. I want also to build the research station. So after it, it will build the research stations. All right. So the first perk: should I go with uh, new colonies, start with one additional pop, or star base influence influence cost is reduced by ten? Um, I do not intend on having too many star bases early on, so I'm definitely gonna go with the new colony because I put, I intend placing first a colony. So if it has one more pop, definitely it's. Uh, one less pop to wait until it's developed so yeah definitely that's uh one thing one way of saying it let me just look at this uh system i mean this system is small you know you don't have that many planets now uh one thing that happened um and uh that that's a, that's one of the technology i think it i think it was due to um you know to the ultimate technologies it unlocks the amount of planets that we can terraform. I mean, we cannot terraform gas planets, not yet. Uh, you know, Giga Structural Engineering will allow that, but um, the uh, Ultimate Technologies allows us to terraform molten worlds and all that stuff. And one of the things I noticed is that now it shows us the planet size. So eventually when we get the technology, we can uh, terraform these planets to the size we, you know, we look at. I mean, this is a barren world unless it has, and plus it has poor quality minerals. I'm definitely not going to terraform this one. But look at this one. It's a molten world. It's 20 in size. That's not bad, you know. And maybe this one, 17. I don't know. Uh, you have options, you know. You can definitely... You know, uh, explore and definitely other planets will have more options for you. So that's that's good. That's that's it gives you more options in the future. Not saying we're gonna go there that way. Even if you go here in our planet, uh, do we have? Look, this one is a 26. It's a big size. You know, it gives us two resources. I I would prefer to lose these two resources in the mining situation and terraform it. And have a bigger planet that we can have different kind of uh, you know resources or more stuff. Either way, let's unpause this and see if we get uh, something else. Okay, so uh, this system, the Ogipacus, Ogipacus. I always, I this is gonna be a tough name to remember. Either way, we get three science, uh, physics research. That's not bad. Complete. Okay, so my construction, <laughs> so my construction ship is has done everything. So we, now it's gonna wait, and I think. Okay, so my timer is almost. It's, you know, I set my my phone to Systems to ring whenever we were reaching the. Um, the time limit for this episode. I really want to keep this below the uh, 30 minutes. So just to wrap things up, uh, the OG Kepa system has been fully uh, uh, surveyed. So now it's gonna go to... I don't even know the name of this system. It's not yet uh, explored. This one is not a very... I mean, it's not bad. It gives me three physics in research. And also have a new tradition to look into it. But either way, I'm going to wrap today's episode. And um, I wish we had more time. Or I wish we had done more things in here. But either way, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you really enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, just give me feedback of things. And uh, give me your opinions on how things are being done. If I should have decided something different uh, either way I'm not really sure how I'm gonna play this I'm not sure if it's gonna be a tall or a wide uh, gameplay probably gonna be a both um, I normally like to mix them all but yeah that's basically it either way guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon cheers